So uh, let's just throw together a quick scene here. I'm going to go up here to my contents folder under my library, and I'm going to search for smoke. It's going to have this smoke clip here. That's the one I'm looking for. I'm going to apply it. Okay. Now that I've applied it, I'm going to go up here and get my square mask tool, and I'm going to make a mask. Like so. Now we just have this one little portion of our mask. Let me open my timing pane. You'll see my timeline. Now you can see my smoke clip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and hit Command D and duplicate that. Now I have two. You can't tell it because one's laying directly on top of the other. Now when I say duplicate masks, you'll notice when I duplicated the clip, the mask come along with it. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in back up to my content folder and find the bubbles. And let's see here. This is pretty neat bubbles there. We'll use this bubbles rapid right here. So what I'm going to do is, since I've already duplicated the smoke footage, I'm going to take this rapid, this bubbles rapid movie, and drag it right on top of that smoke copy, and it's going to replace it. As you can see, that replaced it. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select my rectangle mask on my smoke, and just drag it down. And this ensures that my masks stay the exact same size. I'm going to put it like that right there. I'm going to duplicate my water clip just like I did my smoke clip. Select it. Command D. Now we have our water copy. Now I'm going to go back up to my contents folder and look for fire. And here's the fire we're looking for. Let's see if I can find it. There we go, the full flame. Let's take it and do the same thing. We'll replace the, fire, the water copy with the fire clip. And that done that, select your rectangle mask and drag it down. Now as you can see we have three sections of clip here. I'm going to close that and rename it from water copy to fire. Okay, now let's go back to the beginning of our clip. Let's add some text here. Let's close up this group and we'll call it background. I'll just call it BG. Let's make another group. We'll call this text. Now we have our text group. Let's go to our text tool. And let's write smoke. We'll go to our inspector. Let's go to our properties and up to scale. Okay. Let's go back up to select our text group again. Let's select the text tool again. And let's click in the middle of our water and type water. Now you can't really see it because it's white text so I'm going to go to my style and change the color here to like a bluish like that. Now let's go back to our properties and change our scale to 218 because that's what our smoke was. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and select our smoke, go to our text tab and let's change the color of it real quick to uh, gray. That. Okay, let's select our text group again. Select our text tool and this time we're going to write, you guessed it, fire. Okay, so let's go to our properties and increase the scale to 218 just like the others. Center it up here. Stretch her out to make it about the same width and length as the other letters, other words. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's go back to our text tab, style. Of course, we're going to change the color. And you guessed it, to a red. We're going to make it a dark red. We'll darken this down a little. Like so. Okay. Now we have smoke water and fire. Now let's animate our text and use a few behaviors that I talked about. So now as you can see down here in our timeline you can we have our three texts or you could open up your project and you can work on your three texts here by selecting them or you can work down here whichever way you feel comfortable it's up to you. So let's start with our smoke behavior I'm going to pull it off to the side like this right here now, like I said, there's a couple behaviors you can use. Okay, let's go to Add Behavior. 
basic motion throw. Now let's click our HUD and bring up our HUD. Now let's bring our throw over about like this. This is this diagram controls the angle and direction and speed of your throw. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now as you can see, my throw behavior goes from here all the way to the end. We don't want it to do that. But we're going to fix that with the stop behavior. I'm not going to worry about shortening it down, trying to get the stop where I want to. This is a much easier way. So now we have this throw behavior of our smoke coming in. When it gets to right there, we want it to stop. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I have my throw behavior selected. I'm going to go back to properties. Under position, I'm going to right click and I'm going to scroll down to stop. You notice that throws in a stop behavior right where my playhead is. And what's that do? As you can see, our smoke text gets thrown in, and as soon as it gets to stop, it stops right where it's at. Okay? So let's, we want to animate our water, but we don't want the water to start animating until right there when the water smoke stops. So we'll put the playhead right where the smoke stops. We'll take select the water and we'll drag it off over here to the right left, I mean. Add behavior. Basic motion. Throw again. We'll bring back up our HUD. This time we'll throw it in the opposite direction. Now they're coming in together as you can see. But we don't want them to come in together so I'm going to take my throw behavior that's on my water and drag it down to where the behavior of my smoke text stops. As you can see, the throw behavior begins where the other text stops. That way, smoke will come in, then water will come in. And when it gets right to about right there, we want it to stop. So let's go to our properties, right click position, stop. Now let's play it back. Smoke, water. Now, let's do our fire. So let's select our fire text. We'll go back up to add behavior. Now also under basic motion there's a move behavior. If you wanted to select move you can do that and that gives you this little crosshair here that lets you as you can see move your text around. So we can scroll forward select your text first Make sure it's off. Oops. Select your text. Let's make sure it's off screen. Like so. Now we have our move behavior. We want it to come in right when the other one stops. So we'll have it come in here. As you can see, it's moving. But we need to shorten the behavior. So I'll click it, hit the O key, and that'll lengthen it down, as you can see. Now we need to adjust with our little controls here. Like so, you can also go to the um, position right here and strength and use the strength to adjust it. So now we have this move behavior. As you can see right here, it starts. It's going to come in and it's going to move over. And it's going to stop right there. So I want to drag the end of the behavior right there and adjust it back and instead of doing that I can always just adjust my strength like so that looks good so that's how you use the move behavior, the stop behavior, and the throw behavior so let's play this from the beginning we'll see smoke, water, fire I think the fire comes in just a little too quick, so we'll adjust the move behavior out a little. We'll replay it. Smoke, water, fire. That looks good. Let's close our timing pane. I mean our uh, timeline. Hit Shift Z to bring it full screen. And this is um, Command Option O to make an out point. And this is what we got by using the throw behaviors, the stop behaviors and the move behaviors.